Uh, the flange down here? What's that? The flange down here? This shape? Yeah, yeah. That's my piece right now. Okay. I got to machine it. I got to machine those surfaces. They're above that. Uh-huh. Okay. But you see, when I do it, part of my tool pad is going below that surface for some reason. Okay. I can't get it to just stop. I want it to stop at that... That's why I put those fillets in there. I'm using a, a half inch paw. Okay. Turn the tool pad back off. Okay. See, there's my shape for my my uh, my stock. Right. Okay. That piece is sticking up out of the off the base part. Right. And I and I want to machine down to that surface that's a hundred thousandths above that. The big, big rectangle part. Right. But when you when you lift that tool pad, it actually goes over and it ends up coming down in there. It looks like. Right. You, know, like, you see it like especially right there on the left. Yeah, you see it. See the dot line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now my my boundary is selected for that as well, and I did up the boundary so. It, I'm not understanding why it's, like, going past the boundary. You know, uh, uh, on, uh, like, sidebar, is there any reason why you're using radial to rough this out? I'm just curious. That was just what I picked. Um, no, it doesn't matter how I do it. Okay, what I would probably do is, uh... Anyway, so far, that's, that's the one that I've gotten the best results. That I like. Okay. Well, I would probably use like an advanced rough or something like that to rough it out. It would just be more efficient for the machine time and material removal. Um, but you know, let's you can address that at any time. So I, I just turned off the roughing passes right now, and I'm just looking at um, the finish pass. And one of the things that I'm seeing is, you know, it's it's going right through this surface here, right? So when I look at my geometry selection, I have everything selected. And when I look at my boundary, I have this boundary right here, right? So um, some of the things that I would want to check on um, is I'm going to measure this arc right here. And I want to see where it's located in Z, because you don't want it going any further than that, okay? And then when I get back into this feature here, I have a top of job and bottom of job. So I'm going to go to bottom of job, and I'm going to enter in that value that I just measured, minus 0 0.8200, okay? And then I'm going to recompute that. And what that should do is that should stop the tool path from going any deeper than it does um, it shouldn't go any deeper than that level and what this is here is this gives you the ability to control the levels in which you're cutting at okay so in this case I stopped it to go any deeper than that level I'm gonna come in here just to help exemplify this function and I'm gonna say minus a half inch and recompute and we should see that it only generates toolpath between those two different levels, okay? Um, so hopefully just showing you that there uh, should help you understand how to get this to uh, stop cutting any deeper than that level there. Does that make sense? Oh, that, would have, that would have helped rough passes as well. I would up apply to the entire part. All, all passes. Mm -hmm. So if we do our step down and recompute, we're going to see we're going to get that same result. Oh, that, that would have been 